have nothing in your houses that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. Some of you might recognize this Dollar Tree. It's the same one that Brittany Vassor shops at, and she has footage of it in one of her videos. Ever since then, every time I visit this Dollar Tree, I keep a lookout for her because it would be really neat to meet her. And while I haven't found her at Dollar Tree, I did find quite a few items that I do normally pick up or at least have in my house at any given time. There are other items that seem to be popular that I do without. Today, I'm going to share with you the 10 items that I normally buy or have on hand and how I use them, as well as five items that I do not buy and what I use in their place. This Betty Crocker silicone spatula has got to be one of my favorites. It's heat resistant and all of the pieces disconnect for easy washing. I especially love that it can get into all the small little nooks and crannies of containers to get all of the product out. Talk about frugal wins here. Foam board is something my son uses often for school projects and reports, and Dollar Tree has the best price on these. With his leftover pieces, I've used them to craft things like this utensil organizer. It's been almost two years since I made this thing, and it's still going strong. Pretty impressive considering it was all made from scrap items from dollar stores. As a bonus, it makes the perfect window cover to hide our monster window fan. It's not pretty from the inside, but from the outside, our picky HOA approves. It also protects the fan from the beating sun. This fan is awesome and allows us to keep the AC off most of the year. Lots of savings here. These moisture eliminators work really well in the car. In reality, I only go to the Dollar Tree a handful of times a year, but I can't believe how much they shrunk this package since the last time I was there. I was needing a replacement box for the one I had previously, and you can see it works really well, and it helps to eliminate that buildup on the inside of windows and reduce any odors in the car. A double win. To attach it to the car, I use some sticky Velcro and place it on my center console. I've also had success placing it under a seat. This nail glue is one of my self-care splurges for my at-home manicures. You all know I'm washing dishes by hand daily and doing all kinds of chores. These are my nails that I put on with this glue after about a week and a half of abuse, and they still look pretty decent. One bottle will last me at least five manicures. Most of the time, the bottle dries up before I can even use it all. The over-the-door hooks are excellent in the bathroom. I bought this fairly recently and we use it to hang our squeegee and clothes to dry. The hooks also make it easy to hang small items off hangers to dry as well. I even took one of the door hooks that I bought from over 10 years ago. You can see it has so many more hooks. I was able to transform it to be a convertible clothes hanger using some old shelving and string. We can fit at least 12 shirts on this thing and the extra hooks allow us to fold it it up so it's away when not in use. A similar non-convertible one can be made with the current DT version. I'm actually pretty proud of this DIY. <laughs> We love beans in this house, and outside of the local Latin markets, the DT has the best price per pound for pinto beans in our area, even though this is a one and a half pound bag that used to be two pounds. Normally, they're out of these, and I would have bought these if I didn't already buy a bunch of the mayo calba beans from the 99, which I visited right before the DT. Most of the time when I come to the DT, I can't find this pink Himalayan salt, but today was my lucky day and they were well stocked in it. I bought four one pound bags and brought them home to fill our salt shaker. We use this salt to sprinkle directly on our foods as needed. These Betty Crocker scissors are so great and I use them to cut foods all the time. I've had this pair for years and it lives in our drawer with our knives. These chopping mats have so many great uses like lining fridge shelves or placing them under electronics so that they can slide more easily, but our favorite use is as a craft mat. Each pack comes with two and it really takes a beating in place of our table. My son loves making these kinds of cards that require a lot of cutting. This mat takes all of the cuts in place of our table. 
Although it's cheaper per pen to buy a multi-pack of Sharpies, we do like to buy the single pack from Dollar Tree to replace the colors that need replacing. This way we won't have to store more than we need and end up having the pens in the pack dry out or get lost or forgotten. This one's funny. My son's convinced that his school sells these same exact pretzels from the Dollar Tree for $1 each pretzel. This box has six pretzels in it and it's $1. These are nice to have on hand for the times that we're too busy to make our homemade ones. I think this one's really an unpopular opinion, but I do not buy these magic erasers. I don't like that they seem to disintegrate so quickly, and to me they make a sound that triggers the same reaction as nails on chalkboard. It's just not pleasant when I use this. In place, I use mild abrasives like baking soda or cream of tartar, and put in some extra elbow grease instead. The splatter screen I bought once and it rusted after the first hand wash. I was so sad. I ended up spending a few more dollars and got this one from Ikea. No rust and no plastic parts. These royal kitchen shears just fell apart on me. The middle piece seems to be its weak point. It just broke off. Just walk down a little bit and get the Betty Crocker scissors. I haven't had any issues with those. These food canisters I know are featured on YouTube and Pinterest a lot, but I found that the ones that come with actual food have similar shape and dimensions and they're much sturdier. Nuts, pretzels, all kinds of foods come in great reusable packaging and can be washed out and prettified just the same as the DT ones. These plastic desk organizers I don't buy because there are ways to get organizers free from the Dollar Tree. I have a video outlining that along with some examples, but really for drawers and such, so many items that we buy come with great reusable packaging that can be washed out and reused. Food containers like tofu boxes, meat trays, guacamole trays, phone boxes, checkbook boxes, all sorts of packaging can be reused and the best part is that no extra money or resources are spent on them. The savings here can really add up, even if it's just a buck or two, which when you think about it, a dollar saved is so much more than a dollar earned. Well, these are my lists. What are some of your go-to items at Dollar Tree? And what items do you not buy? I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching, and I wish you happy mindful shopping. I'll see you next time. Bye!